היום יהיה יום טוב עם כל מה שיבוא היום יהיה יום טוב עם כל מה שיבוא כי יש בו Okay, we are live here at Hillel Yeshiva. I'm uh, Rabbi Katz here with my uh, co-host, Rabbi B. Uh, how you doing today, Rabbi B? Doing great. A lot of good friends here. A lot of good things happening in this town. I um, want to talk about that today. How are you doing today, Rabbi Katz? Doing all right. Uh, you know, uh, here at uh, Hillel, our focus has been over the last, uh, since uh, Simchat Torah, our focus has been on, uh, on Israel, our, our hearts, our tefillot, uh, our learning, is it in the zechut of all the people who are defending our country, um, people that uh, need to be comforted in, uh, in Israel, and uh, Israel's on our mind uh, all day long. And uh, I know here at uh, Hillel and the broader community here um, has been doing everything possible to support and to, uh, to take care of all of our brothers and sisters in need. Um, Rabbi Balander, I know you've been part of the, you know, the effort and things that are going on, you know, I want you to uh, take the lead and, and introduce some of the people that have, have uh, made significant uh, efforts and achievements um, in order to help uh, out in Israel. Yeah, honestly, I have to be, I have to say, like, I really, you know, I might have joined and participated on a, a minimal level in a lot of the efforts that are going on, certainly not responsible for it. There are things that go on at school that obviously I get involved in because we all work here and we all try to do our best for the kids. Um, but in town, I think the, uh, the families really took charge. I think the kids and the parents like really, you know, took the ball and then ran with it. I think one of the questions we ask ourselves when something like this is happening and we're not there, you know, there's obviously living in Israel right now is a combination of um, – scary and and serious and trying to live life and also at the same time enjoying family enjoying the achdut that is happening right now but enjoying is a hard word to use when we when we know what's going on out there we know that we have we have friends and family even some on the front lines and I have an aunt in Israel um, and she has two grandchildren like you know just waiting for instructions and uh, you know our own Sandy Braverman has a son uh, who's also waiting for instructions on how to go in and their mindset is that they're ready and they just want to they just want to handle things but on on our end and we're overseas and this is the general feeling like of what can we do like what can kids do what can parents do because we're not there and we don't fight and we don't know what to do so obviously you know the things that we do as uh, as a community as Am Yisrael we pray together uh, we dedicate our learning for this to this chut of all the families living in Israel all the chayalim who are fighting on the front lines and even those who are, you know, just servicing. But on, honestly, as as a community, we also want to actively, physically do something, and sometimes it's hard to know what to do. So the information comes from Israel, what the needs are, and then these guys just, you know, it is any age, uh, ranging from elementary school all the way through high school, I, maybe even some ELC, I have no idea. But I mean, just the first Tehillim gathering that was that happened Right away, like uh, like in, when we first came back after Shemini Atzeret, there was a community gathering by uh, by the DSN Beach Club, and I did not know what I was walking into, and I, and I literally a, a thousand people, I think, is an understatement, and all the rabbis in the community joining together. It was it was a, a sad and heartfelt um, event, but at the same time, there was a feeling of of community. There was a feeling of what can we do? People can't do enough. The kids were there selling things, and I mean, somebody here will talk about that. Um, Watching even the, all the Am Yisrael Chai sweatshirts, they were going, they couldn't even keep up with the selling. Couldn't keep them, them up, and, and, and it's so nice to see it around school, school yeah. You see them everywhere, you know, all, all in school, but really you, you mentioned the Achdut, you know, how all the rabbis, all from different schools, different communities, everyone came together uh, to sing um, – you know, on behalf of what's going on. I know from the time that uh, I was uh, in Israel myself uh, during Simchat Torah, from the time I got back here, um, everyone, uh, and I, I was writing a letter on a plane, everyone, by the time I got back, was already in motion, staying up all mm -hmm. at, at night. So, you know, I think the, the best way to, uh, we have a, a number of students, we have a representative um, uh, from the board and uh, from the community. We'd like to introduce uh, Gita Kaplan, who is a uh, an amazing community member, uh, a member of our board, 
here who uh, also leads the charge at Hillel Yeshiva. It's wonderful to have you here on our uh, podcast. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thank you rabbis, uh, for having me. Um, you know what? It, it really was a group effort. I want to give a lot of credit to our parents. Our parent body has been amazing, um, and especially um, you know, our students as well. Um, the parents, the, the minute that uh, we heard the news of everything that was happening in Israel, there was this feeling of paralysis. Um, it lasted maybe two seconds in our community because our community is the best one out there. And the minute um, that we heard of the things that were needed by the IDF, the things that were needed by the communities in Israel that were impacted, immediately on the ground, people started collecting baby clothes and vests and food. And you know, our first, you mentioned our first event um, at DSN where people were, you know, the sweatshirts and that was the start. And over the course of the week, every single grade in school raised countless dollars for, for Israel. Um, By the way, how, ma how many, there were a few planes chartered to Israel yes. with duffel bags. and yeah. how, ma how many planes were chartered to, to Israel? I, I personally can't tell you, but I know that there is a chat of hundreds of people and our own community members, um, you know, are, are right there staying up all night, collecting stuff, warehouses. There yeah, you know, I, I heard I, 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 um, Ike Ike got up that night and he yeah. th they started this corporation overnight, like just yeah, with pallets and pallets, like hundreds of pallets going to Israel. I actually asked a friend of mine who has a warehouse, and I think he was reached out to to use his warehouse, and he said there was like 120,000 pairs of shoes or something like that. Crazy. And I asked him, I said, is it really necessary? Do we need 100? What do we need? He said, you don't understand. People are being asked to leave where they live right now for an undefined amount of time. They're living, people are people who have rental houses in Israel are just saying, yeah, just put families in there. Just people are living and they have to go without their stuff. So yeah, there's so much needed and they just jumped right in with all this stuff. It happens to be our community, I just saw last night, our PTA from some of the events that we held, um, you know, the shuk and the all the sales, you know, the I have a list here. I can't even remember it off the top of my head. So we have to a boys basketball tournament, a shuk by the courts, an Israel relief drive, Israel merch sale, lemonade stand and sale, second grade pismonim, second Israel grade, <laughs> second grade, Israel raffle, Shabbat sale, support Israel sale, mother daughter amen party, fourth grade boys run on chesed, artwork for Israel. I could keep going. Lem another lemonade stand, beads for Israel. A baracha party and a movie night. Do you understand what I mean when I say I can't take credit? Every single. I wasn't involved. No one, none of us. It's really, it's a group effort, and it really comes from our kids. But they, they raised $40,000 to go towards resettling some of the families in Israel that need um, places to stay while their homes are. Unbelievable. Know, and and, 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 it, and it, it's it's not ending. It keeps coming. It's going. Uh, every, every day. I know one of the big projects, if you could help us introduce the boys. Sure. Also, this Shabbat was a, uh, a, a big uh, a big accomplishment uh, from the eighth grade boys. Um, I know uh, our, our chairman, Sammy Saka, um, it was tremendous. He worked with the boys uh, for a long period of time to, uh, to get up in, the, in their local shuls to speak on behalf of Israel. If you could tell us a, sure. a, a little bit about that, introduce uh, the boys also that, uh, that were involved and tell, tell us the, the big number, the end result of what they did, which was tremendous. So uh, all the credit for this goes to Grace Shehebar, whose idea it was, um, and it was an amazing idea. And we have her son here, Juki, and my son, David, um, who are in eighth grade, and they were um, taught by our amazing chairman of the board, Sammy Saka, who was the ultimate fundraiser. And he trained the boys. He met with them a few times um, in the week before leading up to the to the drives that they held in the shul. And Sammy taught them <coughs> how to how to raise money, how to approach someone, how to speak in front of in front of the entire shul. Um, and the boys did it. They it, first of all, it was a monsoon on Saturday, so you would think that the turnout or the fundraising would have gone um, poorly, but. Um, they raised at the end amongst 13 shuls, they raised $180,000. Oh my goodness. This is the eighth grade boy. This is eighth grade boy. That's boys. just one fundraiser. That's one, That's fundraiser. one fundraiser. That was one Shabbat just uh, one during, Shabbat. Uh, in between. Sammy did have them go to Shacharit and Mincha because, okay. you know, Sammy, you can't just go to one. You got to <laughs> hit every Minyan. But I'll let them talk so about let's it. Introduce the, let's introduce the boys. So who do we got here? Let, let, we, let's have, we have Juki Shehebar and David Kaplan. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our show. Thank you. 
Okay, so tell us a little bit, if you want to tell us a little bit what, what, you, what you did and what you spoke about and how did it go and, and the process. So l let, let's start. What happened here? How did you, how'd you get organized? What did you do to, in preparation for, for this, this event o over Shabbat? Yeah, so, um, you know, th there was a lot of preparation. And, um, you know, I had to go to two minions, so six and eight. And I like I, I didn't want to wake up at six, so I went. <laughs> so I went. I knew I was gonna pray in the other minyan at like eight. So I said I'll just go at like seven thirty, the time that I have to, you know, um, speak after the Torah, right before they take out the Torah, and then I give out the cards. I I got there. I I was figuring Norman was gonna be there. He said he was gonna help me. No one was there. No cards were there. <laughs> so I was like, I came home. I'm like, ma, and it wasn't so far from my house, so I could just come home and. And it was raining, so I, I came home and I said I'll call back at eight with Yosef, my cousin, and we were expected to raise five thousand dollars with um, like all the rain and all the people. There were only like thirty, thirty-five people there, and we raised uh, I think twelve thousand wow. dollars just just in that unbelievable yeah. morning. Yeah, unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah. You, but you you want to know something else? You know, you also learned leadership here. I got to tell you, you know, you took. You took a real leadership opportunity here to go to two minyanim. You know, some of our shul rabbis do have the same schedule. He figured that out. There's an early minyan and they're late, so they they pray at the late minyan. They speak at the first one and pray. So you figured out the rabbi schedule. You figured out the secret on your own, and you were able to do that. So kol kavo to you kavo. for for doing that, and uh, thank you for really on on behalf of Israel, on behalf of Hillel, representing us as a real leader. Next we got is David. We got, um, if you could tell us a little it's bit. Fine. It's fine, you can just talk. Yeah, tell we're us a we're little we're bit about your experience um, and, and, and how it went uh, over Shabbat as well. So thank you, Rabbi. So on Shabbat, I, so I woke up early. I went to early Minyan, and I was the first one there. So then Sammy Saka got there, who was leading it in my shul and on leading the whole project. And... And two and two of the other kids, Mark Sutton and Elon Zimmerman, and then I spoke, and we raised that six thousand dollars just in early minyan with not a lot of people, like maybe twenty people, and then right, not including Juki. No. <laughs> and then um, so then there was the main minyan where we raised also a lot, and then Sammy Mizrahi, another eighth grade boy, spoke in the two other minyanim, and in all West Deal, um, even though it was raining. And not a lot of people came. Raised about twenty thousand dollars. Just that morning. Just that morning. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. In that four-hour period, we raised about twenty thousand dollars. And tell us, ha, ha, look, you're 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 in eighth grade, you're right? You're not you're not prepped. You're not you know you don't have all this experience. How do you how do you psych yourself up to get to do this? And uh, what you know how do you get the energy, the courage to be able to do this? this is not a simple task. There are many adults who won't get up yeah. there and do that. Adul so. Adults can't raise that in, in their lifetime. They mm -hmm. can't raise that amount of money. How do you, how do you Trust get me, I've been trying. <laughs> how were you able to do that? What gave you the courage, the confidence that you do it? I mean, yeah, we, we met with um, Sammy Saka twice or whatever it was, and then Norman Jamal wrote the speech and, ta and taught us how to do it. We all practiced it multiple times on uh, Friday, the, night, the day before. And yeah, it just gave us confidence, and we were, we were all able to do it and raise a lot of money. I could tell you first that I sat on the, a lot of the practice speeches, you know, how to read, read slow, and how to we give them tips, you know, and how to fundraise also, which to me I think is a beautiful thing that we have. We have board members who are coming to teach our students here in the school, and it go it, it's it's all the board members. They're 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 invested in the giving those lessons. To our teaching is one thing, but the yeah. power, power of a mentor, uh, yeah. of a mentor, to have yeah. mentors like that is uh, to yeah. me is so inspiring. I, I, there's nothing prouder being part of an in institution where you know at many schools and many institutions, board members are just you know pulling the strings and all that. But here they get the feet on the ground, they they work with the students and they inspire. And I think that's ultimately what causes all these amazing leaders within the community. Sure. Yeah. Halal produces leaders. That's really the truth. So in the end, it was $180,000. 180, and this included, this went through Shabbat, and then Saturday night there was something? And then, so Saturday night, and not insane anything, because the same people came, basically, but Saturday night, Sammy Saika said, why not do it again? It was raining. Maybe more people will come. And we raised a little bit on Saturday night in Mecca. Unbelievable. These, these guys, they don't give up. There's, they keep, they keep now going. Now, this, this 180, is it collected? It's, it's, 
Get process. your get your you pledges in. It. Get your pledges. Anyone from the community, in. if you haven't given it yet, That's make right. sure make sure uh, or these eighth grade boys. Look at these are, faces. Uh, can we get on these faces? Donate Look to the Sephardic faces. Heritage Museum. If you need any information, you can contact this, the school. Okay, and this money is going where? This money is going towards the relief efforts. So they raised two million dollars already. Um, around town, around will, will town, fundraisers. and they sought to raise another. They're looking to raise another two million to help various organizations and people who need All it. Come on. All come on. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. We know you have busy programs, so we, you know, they have uh, eighth grade pictures and yearbooks. So we're get, we're gonna let them uh, get back to their. Uh, thank you guys. You spoke very well, and thank you yeah. for thank rep you rep much. representing uh, Hillel. Uh, we have Sam Nasser on loan from the high school, so <laughs> we got to get him. You got to get him back to class. Gotta also, back. he's got to learn Torah for our, for our, for Klal Yisrael. So tell tell us a little bit quickly about uh, what what you did over so uh, you know representing the high school and all your efforts. I know you had some really late nights and uh, mm -hmm. you kind of put school on the side a little bit um, in a good way, but, you s but you're still mm -hmm. you're learning Torah. You're still going to Minya and doing all the things, but. Tell us a little bit about what you did. So on the day one in Sipchat Torah, when we heard about all the Israel attacks, I straight ahead went to Aaron Gindi, who sat next to me in shul, and said, we got to do something about Israel. And he was like, yes, I'm in. We got to do this. Last year, we had a chat called We Are Israel. We stand with it. It was an organization standing about talking about how we stood for Israel. And last year, we made a uh, lemonade stand. And to be honest, it didn't really go any much further. But the second it happened, I wasn't even the first one to reach out. Sophia Barnathan actually texted and said, guys, I think we're all on the same page and we got to do something for Israel. And just like that, we all agreed. Ninth graders. Ninth Blue. graders. All we wanted to do was just help Israel, all with unity, everything. So there is some good we got, but thank God it's everything we have to be doing and everything we can is for Israel, for the state of Israel and the safety of all of our soldiers. But so everyone together, we all... Went to my house, we went to Michael's, got all supplies, we made, got ribbons, we got glue, we got pins that everyone can stand them on, and I think we spent a good maybe three or four hours all working on making the ribbons. And to be honest, it wasn't the funnest thing, but at the end of the day, it was definitely worth it because when I saw like how happy we were, felt accomplished, that we actually did something, and the feeling of just doing chesed is really like no other. So I really can't thank everyone on my team and everything that everyone else is doing so much for what they're doing for Israel. You know, I, I just want to say all the, all, once again, I want to reiterate, you know, the point of this is, uh, and uh, in my mind, I, I, I don't want it to come and sound off that we're, we're, this is like an ego thing or that we're showing off. What I, w what I want to show is the Achdud and what, what the p when parent involvement and you teach your children you know the right way and the and the, with the right midot and what you could accomplish. It, look how these amazing children step up to the plate on on behalf of Israel without even asking. And to me, I, I'm very proud to be associated with that. So thank you for thank you for uh, sharing that with us, um, Dita. Now uh, um, that was so that was on on behalf of the high school, Dita. I, I know we have a, a whole bunch of girls here. Also, if you could talk on their behalf, I don't know if they want to chime sure. in, but we have these nice. Uh, young girls who also, these sweet girls who also ran programs, uh, if you could uh, help guide them and, and tell us a little bit what they did also uh, on behalf of Israel. Great. So, guys, why don't you introduce yourselves first, and then uh, I'll tell you about the late night uh, knocks on my door that I got to raise <laughs> for the <laughs> So, I'm Marianne Gohar, and this is my best friend, wow. Barbara Sarudio. And we, w our moms... We, they ran this program to raise money for Israel. We sold um, a lot of tickets. It's really hard to count. It was a raffle. Yeah. It was a raffle, okay. And we made about $15,000. Wow. Whoa, whoa. As of yesterday, I heard I heard 10. Now it's 15. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think everyone um, got their last minute fantastic. You know, tickets yeah. in. And really, we couldn't have done it without three special people, if I have permission to say their names. Please. <laughs> okay, so these are kids, by the way, and they raised a lot of money. Olga Abadi, she helped out a lot. Okay. So did right. Nicole Dayan, and especially Sophia Leventer. She made eight thousand dollars. Wow! Alone. Wow! Wow! It's really, really impressive, and I'm just shocked, really. You know, and now we're hearing about all these different things, and it just makes me very happy. 
Yeah, you know, it, it, it's wonderful, you know, to see uh, wonderful young, I mean, we call them young adults already because <laughs> look how mature they are. How mature, and, yes. and how they talk and they, they could express themselves, um, especially uh, on a podcast with, with uh, hundreds, thousands of people uh, listening. And um, it's one, your efforts are wonderful, and you should continue to grow in everything that you do and represent uh, our community, all of you. Um, you should represent, continue to represent Klal Yisrael. And uh, we, we know you're, you're going to yeah. do wonderful things in the future. So thank you for Girls, representing. You have the raffle tickets here, right? Yes. Oh, we're going right we're, we're to do the live job. We're going to do the join. We're going to do the join. So we're here. We'll, we'll, we'll write. You, you, you mean that's not it? No, There's more. No. Oh. oh. So my friend, she made 800 tickets, like one bag of 800 tickets. Oh. My other friend made like 100 tickets. Maybe now's not a good time. A lot of people made like 60 tickets. <laughs> a lot of people made 30, 40, Can we 50. cut this from the uh, – <laughs> <laughs> can we edit that last sentence out? Yeah. I, I think we're going to do the drawing then. Maybe maybe tomorrow is yeah. a better idea? Yeah. yeah. Okay, fine. We'll do the okay. drawing. Tomorrow. We thought we'd do okay, it live. But it's but unbelievable. But listen, uh, I guess more yeah. people, you know, so th we're, we're, we're proud 100%. of that. And, uh, and 100%. thank you. But this is an example – so it sounds like you have about 30 more bags of these. Oh, you still got more. Okay, great. Wow. Okay, so we're going to hold off on that. Okay, so we'll hold, hold off on and that. I just want to add that it's a, a it's a testament to their parents also who have initiated a lot of these efforts. Yeah, they reached out to me a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. to all of the parents, or the, stu yeah. the whole parent body in the school really has been amazing in teaching their kids and taking their own initiatives to help Israel also. Yeah. I just yeah. And I also just want to just, just say, like, this um, – it's 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 not you know we try not to say you know I did this and I did that but I just want to say everything that's going on in town, well, in the, in the whole Jewish community this is what Hashem wants to see, and that is gonna that is gonna inspire help from Hashem for all of our brothers and sisters and family and soldiers and everybody who we want to keep protected. This is what Hashem wants to see. So this is our efforts. This is our hishtadlut. And Hashem's going to do the rest. He's, got, you know, he starts, Hashem sees what's going on, and he says, "You know what? If this is how we feel about each other, and this is what we want to do for each other, it sounds like it didn't even take the uh, the ninth graders a second. They didn't even have that moment that you were talking about. They just said, this is what we got to do. We just got to do it. Let's just do it.' That's what Hashem wants to see, and that's what's going to hopefully lead to our success and our protection. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh, thank you. Th yeah. so thank you. So yeah. I think Beautiful. from th from this point on, you know, thank you to all all, all the students that are here. We'll let you get back. To class, yeah. um, is there anyone else that? Yeah, that sure. That yeah. We, we oh, have another we have another oh, group. Still have a, one we, more have group? Okay. we have yeah. two more groups. It looks like. Let's get them okay. in real quick. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, switch you. places, girls. Okay. Thank you, yeah. girls, so much. Yeah. Thank okay. you for all your uh, efforts. We have Suzette and Susan. Come up front. We get, well, you know, let's get everyone in. Let's get everyone in at, at one time here. All right. So just to say, we have we have two more uh, fundraising efforts here. Um, thank you, Sam. Uh, we have two more fundraising efforts here. We have the representation from the seventh grade girls. I'm let I'm gonna let Geeta introduce them in a second, and we also have representation from the fourth grade girls who got involved in something. So, um, you ready, guys? Yeah. All right. Okay. What do you, What are your names, girls? Tell I'm us a little Susan bit about Romano, what you guys And I'm Susan Abraham. So, we had a challah week, and the night before it, we all gathered together at DSN, and we big challah, and we made all flowers, we cut them all together, and then the next day, my mom, we, she, ma she like, uh, she's an artist, and she makes necklaces, and, um, yeah. we all, and, and when we went to DSN, we sold all of them, and we made a lot of money, and there were so many people, and, yeah. yeah. And then a great example of someone who has an amazing talent. I don't see yeah, some from mom's work. And donates it. And just uses it for the right reasons. Yeah. Yeah. And on Friday, we went to Kathy Edith's house because, like, the sixth grade boys had it also, and we sold there also. Wow. Very nice. Unbelievable. And you, and you, made s you also raised money for, uh, for needs in Israel. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. How did how, how, you guys do? Really good. Do you know how much money you raised? How much money you raised? I Not think that it matters. Like I think we made like about like seven thousand. Wow! Call a wow. Kavod, call a yeah. call yeah. bake, unbelievable. And flowers, beautiful. Yeah. Another Great group job. of the, our next leaders here beautiful. at Kolel. Uh, keep keep so up. So proud of you, work. girls. Call a Kavod, call a Kavod. And I think we have a member of your family sitting right behind you, <laughs> right? We have Ruby Romano, 
and Violet Cohen. You guys want to switch places? And they are represent they represent a fourth grade initiative. Also, I, th also I think spearheaded by Marguerite, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's hear about it, Ruby. So we went to um like DSN in my whole grade. We made candles, and then we put like on the candles um there was like a paper with like you have to like you pray for them like like there's names at in oh you names of people to war, pray for soldiers you, yeah wow and you pray for them and then yeah and then we also made the necklace show, show us the necklace who you, you, let, let oh and she is sporting the Am Yisrael Chai shirt that was sold at yep, PSN that's a, that old, let's, old let's get a good look at that Am Yisrael Chai look at that Chai and tell us a little bit about your necklace um what do, what do you um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we'll tell you. You see, Mishavu Banim Lezulam. There's like a lot of different like words. Like yeah. I don't really know. Okay, good. <laughs> support for supporting, but you're su you're supporting you're supporting Israel. And uh, what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth grade. Amazing. Fourth grade. And you're you're, you're able to uh, to talk like that at a fourth grade level. You're very very mature, and uh, and uh, it's great having you on, on the show. Well, you were part of this fundraiser also. Yeah. The we were great. To buy stuff. They were great. The they minute great. I walked into DSN, you're about. bombarded by kids sticking candles right in your face. So, <laughs> so it was amazing. You guys Beautiful. were the best they sales were great. saleswomen. Um, how could you say no to those? Faces? How do you say no look to at these? those faces? Look at, look at those faces. Can we get in on those faces. Can't say no to me. <laughs> I have four candles for Havdalah this week. I'm very excited to use them. Okay, great. Well, that, that's a beautiful oh, thing. Oh, we to sold them at a we sold them at a bake sale. And and then on the night where we had where we had on um, the Saturday night we had the basketball oh, tournament. Shoot, the we also sold them and I think they're all gone now. Mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen, uh, you know, uh, uh, thank you very much for for coming on our show. You clearly have that energy and the leadership. And if you could do this in in fourth grade and these grades now. I, I can't even wait to have you back on the show when you're in ninth and tenth and eleventh grade, and see what you can accomplish uh, later on. So keep up the great work, and once again, we're happy to have you as part of our team and part of the efforts. And I'm sure everyone uh, thanks you in kind for for doing everything. All right, thank uh, you to all our guests. Today, okay, right? thank you to all our guests. Uh, you know, right now we're we're, we're going to pause. Uh, we actually have someone from uh, Israel that's going to join us uh, live. Um, one of the Chayalim who's going to tell us a little bit about their efforts. Hello. Hi, Ofer. Uh, it's uh, Ari Katz here, uh, live at Hillel Yeshiva with many students. And uh, just want to introduce everyone live on there. My good friend, uh, Ofer Marom, um, whose camera's off. It looks like it's going to be turned back on in a second here. Uh, Ofer is a very close friend of mine. Uh, for, for many years, we go way back. Um, Ofer, you can hear us? Okay, we, we don't see your face, but we, okay, as long as you can hear us. Um, Ofer is a very close friend a, a, of mine. He's a very prominent leader in Israel who's done tremendous uh, things. I, there's no words that could even do justice um, to my introduction to, o, o, to Ofer Marom. I just, Ofer, I wanted to let you know we have some students here, and we, we just spoke about the efforts uh, from the community here in Gil and the Sephardic community here that raised over $2 million that sent over immediately to, to Israel. Um, Shabbat, uh, the eighth grade boys did a fundraiser and uh, eighth grade did $180,000 they fundraised um, for, for services to send over to Israel. Uh, $40,000 was raised by, uh, by the PTA and all the students to refurbish homes for, for, for um, for, for people in Israel who are displaced from their homes. And uh, we're thinking, uh, you know, our hearts are with you. We're thinking about you. And uh, Ofer, uh, you know, being who you are, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and also tell us how, how you're dealing with these trying times. And uh, you're a very insp inspirational person for all of us. We see you in the Army uniform, you know, on duty, and uh, if you could tell us a little bit about what's going on, it's a really an honor to have you on our show. First of all, I want to say thank you very much, Rabbi Katz. We appreciate our uh, friendship and the, that opportunity 
that you call in asking and really know and ask what we need here. It gives us all the support that we need. We on Simchat Torah during Shachrit uh, got the phone calls and they call us, call me, and basically everyone in the shul uh, get phone calls from his unit and they went to the army. It was, you know, to see before we start the uh, kafot, everyone, if he didn't get a phone call yet, he was nervous. Why they didn't call me? And we're talking about almost half million people. A reserve went to the army, start what it's called Tzav Shmone, it's been an emergency. I don't know if you hear now the airplane, the Air Force, walking day and night already 20 days since Simchat Torah. We basically find out that this uh, enemy who was looking about the society in Israel and what happened before Simchat Torah. You know that we say why Simchat Torah, it's an extra day after the seventh day of uh, Sukkot. So the Kaddosh Baruch Hu say, Kasha alai predatchem. So every year we understand that Kasha alai predatchem, it means we was together seven days during Sukkot. Stay another day before we going away and start the, what it's called after the Chagim. But I heard this year different meaning. Kasha alai predatchem, it means that you between each other, suffering, fighting between us, left and right, religious, non-religious, secular, etc., etc. And this, it's very difficult. And when you not united, this is what happened. And the, the real enemy coming against us. And since that day, I'm telling you, we see all the country, all the nation united. And that's the basic, what we need to be, uh, to win during this uh, war. And Bezrat Hashem, we will win. And we just want you to continue praying. This gives us a lot of support. We feel all the effort that people are doing around all the world, from South America, North America, every place, Europe, it's very help us. Basic. Ofer, we, 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 we love you. Stay yes. we, we love you. Stay safe. We're thinking about you. And uh, we'll, we'll be in touch, and uh, we should have the Sorot of us. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Thank you very much. And Bezrat Hashem, Anachnu Beyachad Benatzea. Amen, amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Ofer. We'll talk soon. Thank you very much. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Ofer. And thank you to all our guests. And of course, thank you to our producer, Mr. Carl Wallace. Thank, thank you, and thank you to, again to all our efforts in the, uh, the community. Thank you to all the kids and uh, to Gita and everyone for showing. And uh, we should hear Besorot Tovot, and, uh, and hopefully uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue back with uh, next week. Uh, I'm Yisrael Chai. I'm Yisrael Chai. We're here. We're with you. <laughs> Can't leave.
live it till I'm on my way. All I got is just a day. This one day I won't give away.